I realized that the part of me that chose fear, that chose to be very, very vigilant, like I, I eventually I had a mentor and she said, um, how's that working for you to choose that part that feels like it's going to keep you safe? How's that working for you? And, you know, I'd have all these arguments where I can't help it. I can't help it. And eventually she's like, no, you, you do keep choosing it. How is it working for you to have that part of the meeting table? Like think of your inner world as like this big table and you've got your main personality and parts that you're meeting with and you're listening to all of these parts that have their opinion and you've got fear there at the table. And, and it says, I'm scared of this and scared of this and scared of this. And you end up like getting, giving it so much, um, control to drive the ship and it ends up being like one of the most dominant parts at your table because it promises protection usually which it never delivers but she was like how's it working for you to let that part be part of your excuse for why you can't live or do whatever and like it's not working for me it's really not and I realized that that part is convincing as it is and it uses big words big threats big imagery um it was already putting me in hell, even though it was trying to keep me from hell. And so it comes down to a choice. 